One term that we'll be using when we study refrigeration cycles is the coefficient of performance. And this is what we use in order to quantify the efficiency of the cycle. When we looked at heat engines, we talked about thermal efficiency. Uh, when we look at refrigeration, we look at coefficient of performance. And coefficient of performance is written out in capital letters as COP, and we will put a subscript for either refrigeration or heat pump, R for refrigeration, and it would then be defined as being the amount of heat coming out of whatever system we're trying to cool, divided by the amount of work that we have to put in, and in the case of a heat pump, It would be our desired output, and here we're trying to heat a space, so it would be QH, and then divided by the work going in. Typical values here, uh, typically 1.5 to 4.0 are not uncommon. Uh, to put this into perspective, if we had an electric resistance heater, uh, which is sometimes used in areas for space heating, uh, where they'll just run electric current through a electrical resistance heater, if you look at the resistance heater, the coefficient of performance of that system is one because you put in one watt and you get one watt out. So you can see that when you use the heat pump, if we're getting numbers ranging from 1.5 to four, we're doing a lot better. And so it's a much more efficient system. An electric resistance heater is really the worst type of space heating you could possibly have. So what we see based on the coefficient of performance is we're actually transferring more heat than the amount of work that we are putting in. And, and sometimes that conceptually can be a little uh, difficult to uh, comprehend. However, uh, the, the working fluid is the thing that's transferring the, uh, the heat or the thermal energy. And so we're just taking it from one place and moving it to another. Um, and we get more heat transfer out of it than, than we're putting in the work, which is a good thing. It's a more efficient system than we would have with the electric resistance heater. So that's it for coefficient performance. You'll be using those to be able to quantify all of the refrigeration cycles you'll be looking at. Uh, in the next segment, and the last segment of this lecture, what I want to do is work an example problem uh, dealing with the ideal vapor compression cycle.